we explain how the Deep Sea Minerals Project supports Pacific Island countries in sustainably developing their seabed mineral resources. Research has shown that the seabed around many Pacific Islands contains minerals that may, if carefully managed, provide long-term benefits for those in Pacific communities. This might include less reliance on aid or the development of infrastructure. The Secretariat of the Pacific Community, in partnership with the European Union, has been assisting countries that want to develop their blue economy by establishing national offshore mineral committees. These committees provide a forum for discussion about marine mineral exploration and mining so that everyone's concerns can be considered. It's important to have legislative and regulatory frameworks in place to start with so as to ensure transparency and the best outcome for society, the economy and the environment. Meet Nunia and Samu. Both of them care about the marine environment, so they attend a public meeting held by the National Offshore Mineral Committees. They have questions they want answered. Nunia asks, given that the deep sea mining industry can be destructive, how will the environment be protected? The committee explains that effective legislation ensures that there will always be an assessment of potential impacts and, if mining goes ahead, measures will be taken to monitor the environment. It also means that mining companies can be held accountable for any unpermitted damages caused by negligence or pollution. But as Samu points out, it isn't only about the natural resources. How will the money be managed? The committee explains that clear financial regulations are needed to manage income from royalties and taxes. For example, a sovereign wealth fund can be established to assist with equitable sharing of benefits for the current population and future generations. Speaking of which, laws can ensure that citizens are given maximum employment opportunities in deep sea mineral activities, ancillary operations and regulatory activities. And by building in-country capacities to maintain these operations, both professional development opportunities and education and skills training are ensured. Nunia and Samu leave the meeting feeling relieved. It's important that the deep sea minerals industry is well governed, so as to ensure the development of comprehensive policies and laws, that the environment is monitored and protected, and that there's economic growth and equitable sharing of benefits. Interested in learning more? The Secretariat of the Pacific Community has additional information on their website, or you can contact them directly.